Hi there, I'm Marvin. Today, I'm going to share about how you can actually export the data to Azure SQL on the cloud from your Azure Machine Learning Studio project. I'm a software and web developer. I'm very passionate in AI. You can follow my YouTube channel, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Twitter and blog for um, more other topics in AI, machine learning, and deep learning studio, uh, deep learning. Before we start our topic today, please ensure that you have viewed my previous video um, named uh, Azure Machine Learning. You can click on the right top corner for more um, to view the video. All right, let's get started for today. So if you have already completed the previous tutorial, you should uh, have the uh, project like this over here. So we have a uh, Titanic Survivor Predictions. Um, it's been created as a web service and a, uh, as a predictive experiment. So we have uh, the web service input. Then uh, down here we have the web service output. But in order to actually have the uh, to export the data, we can actually choosing from here, from the site panel, or we can actually export on the search bar. Alright, so we can actually pull this component over here and drag the output from the score model to the input of the export data. So uh, over here we have to choose uh, Azure SQL database from the list and besides Azure SQL database we have Hive Query, Azure Table or Azure Blob. So for today we will use Azure SQL. So over here we uh, we got to actually enter all the information about database, the server name and the credentials. So in Azure um, you can actually head back to Azure portal. So over here, I have already created uh, um, an Azure SQL. So just copy this Azure uh, the S server name, the SQL server name, and paste it over here. And for the DB name, I have actually using this one and the credential. Just enter the credential and click to accept any server certificates so over here we have uh, you can see let me pull it over a bit so you can see um, it is asking for the comma separated list of columns we save so what does this mean actually basically you can um, that means you pull um, the column the specific columns that you want from the model so let's visualize the score model so you can see there is p class survive names uh, and so and so forth so for today we are going to use uh, the uh, we are going to pick up name survive and probably just um, maybe just these two uh, name and survive and for the data table name uh, you can just simply enter what you actually prefer so for me I enter predictions so uh, if your SQL the Azure SQL server doesn't have uh, this table it will automatically create uh, create for you so you don't have to worry anything so uh, and for the uh, output, I also have the these two columns name and survive. So let's save it and run it. So it will take a little while. Let's see whether it will success or not. So now it's been processed. Let's 
say fail unable to write to the SQL table so let's try again oh perhaps I should take this one allow writer success with the failures let's save it So it will take uh, some time to actually export the data to the SQL. So finally, after a few minutes, uh, it is finally done. So uh, now we can actually deploy to the web service in order to allow us to actually uh, to test it whether the, uh, the auto uh, export is working. So give it a couple of seconds. So yes, it's done. So let's click on this test to actually test out whether our API is working or not. So before that, I would like to prove that our database in the cloud, the SQL server is, is, uh, is clean. So I'm just log in with your credentials. After that, you will see the table, uh, oh sorry, so the table is now, uh, uh, it's been created because just now we are running the export data, uh, the entire experiment because it's actually exporting all the, uh, the data from the score model uh, to, to the SQL server. So if you are familiar with SQL uh, query, so you can just run it to visualize how uh, to view all the tables, uh, the data and the tables. So as you can see, just now we export name and survive. So it consists of all the data from the score model. So yes, so uh, let's run it. Uh, maybe I should actually prove that my data table doesn't contain the data that we want to enter later on. So now only one data has the name of Marvin. So let's try to enter another one. Give it a name. Now, window uh, H and Singapore. So let's run it. So, yes, it's uh, giving the score probabilities. So, let's try enter another one. Maybe just name again Marvin and with the rest, yes. So it still throw me the um, the scroll probabilities. So let's go back to the uh, SQL server on the cloud on the Azure. So let's run the exactly the same query again. So you see it actually export out. Uh, I mean every time I run the request and uh, to the web service, it actually export the data to the Azure SQL. So. Yes, so today we have learned about how we can actually export the data to the Azure SQL from your Azure Machine Learning Studio. So thank you for watching and if you haven't watched my other videos, please do so. You can actually click, click either one from the uh, option over here and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching and see you again.